All right, moving along to our blue connector now. Second verse, same as the first, just go ahead and start with pin number one. And just go ahead and just start working, working and jerking your way down. Go ahead and clean this connector up a little bit better. So like I said, my harness, and my whole entire engine for that matter, looks like it was salvaged from underwater. So there's a lot of corrosion on my harness plug, so it's hard to read some of these wires. So moving along, 13, we got lucky. There is no wire in there. 19 and 20. Do not get removed. These are ones that get repurposed into our OBS harness there. And this one goes to this one here. Fuse turn on for PCM. Key hot, labeled, identified, and labeled. All right, 20 is our PCM <coughs> constant. So that would be this furry little bastard right here. And something tells me this dude is going into this here. So we're going to go ahead <coughs> and coil these up as well. These are constants for the computer. PCM constant. So we got our orange 20 out of the way. Let's find, I'm assuming that was our orange 57. Yeah, that must have been our 57 also. So go ahead and check that one off. Alrighty, moving on. Next one is purple 23. Go ahead and pull it on that. And that was pin 23. I'm just gonna snip it. See you later. All right, next one is a 10 wire and it's not 25 and that's as full. I'm assuming an oxygen sensor. So 25 gets removed. Oh, let's get the snip you need. All right, so that one's out of there. Pin 28. 28. Pin 28 is gone. And I'm assuming it's for a rear oxygen sensor. Thirty engine coolant temp switch. I don't know why you would need that. Boom. Got that one out of there. Thirty. All right. Thirty-two is some more park neutral safety stuff. A black and white wire. So, I'm not going to depin it. I'm just going to identify it. And label it. Eh, I don't know where I label that. I'm just going to go ahead and 
and slap this on there. Pin 33, purple wire, circuit number 420, hell yeah, which is the torque converter brake switch. That is one that we do not remove, we locate and we keep. T, C, C, break. Alrighty. Purple 420, labeled and identified. Another one of them, another one of them uh, part neutral safety wires, man. I don't know what, I don't know if I should remove it or should I just keep it. Either way, I, you know, I gotta do something with it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it be. But I am going to identify and label it. And that will be input P. Input. So I believe these wires get tied in with the OBS harness. I'm not 100% certain on that, but... You know, we'll figure that out when it gets to that point. And that's why I'm not just cutting them and discarding them. I'm, you know, anything that I'm not sure of, I'm kind of keeping around. That way, you know, I'm not shooting myself in the foot. All right, next, pin 38. This one actually gets removed. Mine might not even have it. It says it's a pink and black. Pin 38. Lucked out on that one. Mine does not even have it. All right, moving on to the next row here. This is where things get odd. Because this one is pink, and it says sensor ground, trans and CTS with isolate ground O2. An uh, EGR low reference. So, until we have a better understanding of what the hell that one is, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it. I'm going to clean this. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave 41 in there for now. Um, 42 is empty, however they say that you can add a uh, wire for a low, sp or a low speed fan control. So maybe I'll just go ahead and take this guy, poke it on through there if I can. All right, I'm gonna go ahead, coil this one up. I'm gonna label it, <clears throat> low speed fan. Right. Pin forty two low speed fan. All right, forty five says it's a gray wire. All right, moving along, pin forty eight, which is also a gray wire, which is some pintle position sensor. Pintle position sensor. Now is not the time to start mixing and getting all messed up. I'm not even going to deal with you getting hung up, so I'm clipping you there. See you later, jerk. And that was Pintle Switch. 53 black. I could have pulled it. Whatever. Three. Brown. Fifty five. I don't know what a pencil position sensor is, but I've never even heard of that before. What the hell is a pencil position sensor? If anyone knows what a pencil position sensor is, 
Let me know in the comments. All right, I'll be back. Anyway, when I last left you, we had just got done removing our pintle position sensor wire, which I still, you know, if anyone knows what a pintle position sensor is, hit me up in the uh, comments there and let me know because I'm kind of curious. I might have to Google that when I'm done with this. I'm going to go ahead and remove this bit of tape here. Some of these wires are starting to go deeper and deeper in it. I just want to get them out the best I can. And sometimes you can just give a nice pull on them and they'll, they'll tighten up and you can find them that way. Alright, so that was 55. Now we're looking for 56, a watt wire. And this is for flex fuel, I believe. Fuel temperature composition signal so depending on your make and model you may or may not have that wire there 56 and nope no 56 there check that one off the list 57 is our orange which we've already got those bundled up 58 is a dark green. This is for your OBD onboard diagnostic port. I'm just going to go ahead and coil it up. Let's get our serial data wire labeled. Moving along. Now, 59 is a yellow <clears throat> wire which is also says serial data, but I believe that is for like the body control module. <clears throat> so we don't need it. And it just pulls right on out. We got 65, which is a purple wire. Push it, lift it, pull it. Purple wire out of there. 68, which is purple and white. It is helpful to kind of just go and check them off as you remove them. That way you don't you know backtrack and you know god forbid your phone rings and you gotta take your eye off it for two minutes and then you forget where the hell you're even at so all right brown wire and pin 70 brown wire and pin 70 i believe this one uh this one goes deep in the game yeah deep in the game so i'm gonna cut it deep in the game as to not be bothered with. Get the hell on out of there. Pin 70. Brown wire. Alright, so 71, which mine does not have it, so we can go ahead and just keep moving. 72 is a yellow wire, and that is for our park neutral safety switch stuff again so like i said with this stuff in general i'm not going to depin snip or anything i'm just going to kind of leave it be for now and label it prendle b Handle we identified and labeled. 
And that was pin 72, which is this one right here. Go ahead. Now when it comes time to merge in the harnesses together or whatever, we shall go from there. As far as the park neutral stuff goes. All right, now, pin 75 is a paint wire, and I believe that one is probably going to this plug here. And that is going to, I can't even read right now, F2. Articat F2. Go ahead and just pull that one on through. Coil and label. <clears throat> Alrighty. Last but not least, pin 80, which is orange and black. Fuel level sensor. Right. And this one goes to our connector so we can just pull it straight. And that is it, boys and girls. We have officially dewormed this entire harness. We've identified the ones that we need in order to integrate with our OBS harness. Now, the next thing we need to do. is to get these key hots sorted out.